first one is a drill that we did in camp where we start forward facing. Girls should be about oh, 25, 30 feet away from each other. Um, they should be able to throw this decently hard. Um, this shouldn't be a lollipop. This shouldn't be nice, nice and soft, okay? So what we're gonna have them do is set up with a nice wide base, okay? And we're gonna pull the upper body back, keeping our feet facing forward and flat on the ground. And then we're gonna go ahead and break and throw, all right? And again, this should be nice and easy. Their whole body should be in this. It shouldn't just be arm. So if we're looking at them straight on, if it's all arm, it's gonna look like this, all right? So it should look like that. They should finish here, not with their chest facing straight at the target, okay? So let's show you guys a couple more here. I'm feeling my legs and my core snap my upper body through, all right? I'm also conscious of what my front side is doing here. I'm getting a good front side, good glove side as I'm doing this. And tucking it right here, all right? So that's forward facing. Then we're gonna back it up a little bit and we're gonna work into the connected shuffle drill. So they're gonna do one shuffle. They're gonna start with their glove, their ball in the glove right here at their break point. And I know a lot of the girls have been in that habit of breaking early. So I wanna have them make sure that they stay connected, shuffle, and make a throw. And remember we're thinking about Getting our arms moving fast right from the get-go get here on the break, right? Shuffle, boom, okay? And again, they should be throwing this decently hard at this point. Shuffle, good. Okay. And we're gonna go into the, sh the crow hop drill here, all right? So we're gonna start right here, and when they come up, they should feel their body and their momentum shuffling through and going towards their target, right? So we're gonna come up, boom. All right, and don't let the girls on this one, don't let them disconnect right here, right? Glove and hand should stay connected back here like that, right? Here to here, kind of scooping it up and stepping through at the same time. You can have them practice that movement without throwing for a minute if they're having trouble, all right? So I'm here. Should have a lot of momentum going that direction, all right? And like I said, that's from a long distance, as far as we can go. After that, we're gonna go ahead and bring it back in, all right? And then we're gonna go quick toss, okay? From, oh, about 20, 20 to 25 feet again, okay? And quick toss is, it's not about throwing hard. It's, these are snap throws, right? Short arm throws, okay? But it's about being accurate, and it's about footwork, moving our feet. So how they should be moving their feet is taking their glove foot to the ball. So if the ball's thrown over here, I'm gonna take my glove foot to the ball, go get it, boom, and get it right back to my partner. Ball's thrown over here, I'm gonna take my glove foot to it, catch it, boom, snap throw right back to my partner, okay? So if I'm going quick, it's gonna look kinda of like, boom, I get back to my position, boom, boom, quick, Back to my position, boom, quick. All right, so it's all about the footwork, getting rid of the ball quick, that little snap controlled throw, and hitting our partner in the chest. Partners should be showing target right here, and they should be getting back to their spot, and their chest should be facing their partner, and thumbs together, target right here every single time. Boom, boom, get ready.